Hey guys, Rekasonis here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a track like DJ Snake. So, the final result sounds like this. So, first, we're gonna be making the drums, then the 808, and then the vocal chop kind of style lead. So, now we're gonna dive into the drums. So, we're gonna be using the sick dancehall pack from Curse. We're gonna make it from scratch, so I have no clue. What we will come up with, but first, just gonna lay down the drums. We're gonna grab this kick drum, it's the... This one, I really like it a lot, so... So let's put it on every bar, with a little variation, and then the loop. Sounding like this. So then we need to have the snare drum at the 3rd and the 6th so let's find the snare drum this one's kinda cool it's a bit short though this one's better so we're gonna go for this one just copy it over Cool. So we're gonna layer it. Not with that one. I'm gonna replace it. Still not happy with it, so. Yes, that's better. So we're gonna go for these snares. So let's copy them over. So we're just gonna make the first section first. So we've got a snare drum. Now we're gonna add a hi-hat to it. This one might work. We're gonna put it at first as well, so. Just something, I guess. I'm gonna add some more groove to it, replacing it. Just one here. And a little variation at the end of it, sounding like this. I'm gonna lower down the volume a little bit. Besides that, we're gonna pan it. Later on, we're gonna mix it, so don't worry about that first. So the last thing we're gonna do is add a hi-hat loop, just to fill it up a bit more. So we're gonna go for... This one. It's a 98 BPM, we're at 96 right now. So we're gonna fit it to the tempo. Actually, we're gonna remove that groove from because it's kinda conflicting with the higher loop. Alright, so that's cool. So now we're gonna make it 808. So now we got the drums ready. So let's make it 808. So we're gonna add a new serum. We're just gonna go over sub bass. Go to. I guess this let an 808 sounding like this. So let's make a rhythm with it. I think I'm gonna make it in A minor. So let's go up with this one. To the third note and the fifth one. And then we're gonna go down to an E 
Gagas. Sounding like this. So we're gonna add a little variation to it. with Excel from Contact, so let's load it in. So we got Excel loaded up. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go to the slice sections. I'm gonna go search for a nice one. I think this one sounds kind of cool. So we're gonna throw it in the right key. We're in A minor. So we're gonna write a melody with it. I think this one flows kind of well. Got a MIDI keyboard down below here, so so we're gonna play it in. This melody is gonna be so. Let's create a loop. Give her one more bar. Hit record. Notes animation. And we're gonna record it. Just gonna play it in. I'm gonna wait for the second one. Just something like this, so now we're gonna quantize it. So copy it over to the first section, and then we're gonna just draw it in. Just make a little variation, something like this. We're gonna find in the sweet spot right now for the last note. Yeah, we're gonna go for this one, then we're gonna mix it in. So, we're right to new mix channel, give it a low cut. Some sidechain, OTT, compression, reverb, and lay. Open up the highest a little bit more, some OTT. Sidechain, compression. Some small reverb. I'm gonna go for the file room. With just a small room preset. Just a little bit, some delay. So now we're gonna mix it in with the drums and 808. Not something like this, so we're gonna need to do the mix sound of it. So we're gonna do that right now. So now we're gonna do the mix now. So first, gonna run the kick to a new channel. Basically, gonna get the levels right, make the drums a bit more thicker, and just put up the loudness. So we're gonna make a drum bass without a kick. So 
So we name it drum bass. Add some more punch to it. We're gonna add some more punch to it. But first, just gonna mix it properly. So the kick just around minus 40 B. I'm gonna snare drum just to make sure to cut off the lows. Dip this peak a little bit. Open up the highs a bit more. We're gonna make sure this one's in mono. Then we got this snare. Same thing, just cut it low. Remove this peak a little bit. Gonna add some compression. Nothing too crazy going on right here. Put it attack a little bit. Dragon Mono as well, then we've got a hi hat. Just gonna clean it up a little bit more. Open up the highs. Besides that, we're gonna give this one a little bit of reverb. Just add some more space to the mix down. And then we got a hi hat loop. So we're gonna mix in drums first. Just one here. Now we're gonna add some compression to the bass. We're gonna go for the clue compression. With the parallel compression preset. Just gonna just add some more punch to it. Close side is a bit too loud, so lower it down. Now we're gonna add a transient shaper just to boost that attack. Just on here, mix them with a drum. Just like it. Now we're gonna add out the 808. We already did have text on it, so no need for that. Only a small amount of compression. With quite a fast attack. Just, just I guess. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is mixing the focus chop leads. Solo it. Doesn't need any more. Doesn't need much anymore to the mixing. So just gotta just gotta left right. Now we're gonna just add a Maximus And then we're gonna add some limiting Just gotta have a normal loudness Drums can be a little bit harder Photoshop could be a little bit down And there we have your DSNA kind of style drop So the final result sounds like this So I think it sounds quite cool. And that's it for the video. So if you like the video, please leave a like to see more and the subscribe button. And I'll see you all next videos.